Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for a, another video. For those that are new here, hi, I'm Caitlin. I just became a first time mom, so I do all sorts of mommy videos. I do vlogs, lifestyle. I am a military spouse, so I have that sorts of content. So all sorts of exciting stuff here on this channel. And for those of you who are returning, thank you for continuing to support my small channel. So today's video is going to be a mom related video. I thought I would tell you guys some of my breastfeeding essentials. So for those of you who might be expecting or breastfeeding, these are my go to items or things that have saved me. So the first thing on my list is nipple creams or nipple bombs. So there are a couple that have saved me. So my start of my breastfeeding journey was not rainbows and sunshine. We definitely struggled a little bit. We had a bad latch from the start that kind of sent us into a downward spiral of crack nipples and just pain. And so I probably would have failed at breastfeeding if it weren't for the life-saving nipple bombs and creams that I stumbled upon. So the first one that I used from the start and was actually in my hospital bag was the lanolin nipple cream. This one, I this was the second bottle that I bought. You can find it at Jan's Medical Supply. If you're a military spouse here in Guam, they have one at Anderson and they have one here on the Naval Base. Um, or you can find it at the next however that I have not seen it in stock It's been sold out for like months. So the first one I actually ordered in my Amazon haul you probably saw in my postpartum haul video, but this one is really good the only downfall about the lanolin is it can stain so if You're using it. I have a lot of like shirts and or bras that kind of had like a little oil spot or if you're breastfeeding I had it on and a lot of the time in that first couple of weeks I was dealing with a crack nipple and so I would just walk around the house topless and you can see like little stains on his swaddles from where I was holding him and it rubbed off. So it can't stain but it's really good. The next one that I ordered to try was the organic nipple butter. This one's nice. Um, same with that one. You don't have to take these ones off to nurse. Um, you can if you'd like, but this one is specifically is all natural, so you don't have to wipe it off before nursing. Um, but this one has like a cocoa buttery smell. I just got this one recently, but I am liking it. And the final thing that I got was um, coconut oil. This was actually recommended to me, and you can see that I've used a ton. I specifically use it just for breastfeeding, um, but I like this one a lot like a lot and you can find this obviously at your grocer so highly highly recommend a good nipple balm or nipple cream especially in those early weeks i don't use it as much now that everything is healed and we're having a successful breastfeeding journey but in those first weeks you are going to want a a nipple balm or a nipple cream highly highly recommend the next thing on my list is nursing bras and there's a couple different ones i can link down below I am, I'm getting better about that, I promise. Um, but I ordered the pack that I've been using religiously on Amazon. They look like, almost like a sports bra. Um, I got them in a pack of, it came in this blue, black, and nude. It came with like five or six bras. Um, but they look like this. They're super comfy. I mean, they're not the most flattering bras. They have some cute like lace looking bralette ones that I'm debating ordering on Target. So if you're wanting some cute ones to wear under your shirts and stuff, I highly recommend looking there. But these are the original ones that I just went with and I've been living in these, but they just clip down and open up. Highly recommend. I will link the pack that I bought down below if I can find it. They also have, my mom sent me a couple this one is definitely more of like a sports bra looking one. And then these ones my sister sent me. These ones are really, really nice too, especially for like nighttime. They just look comfy and you can just like flip it down. Highly recommend investing in some good nursing bras because you are gonna live in them if you're breastfeeding. The next thing is to help with your supply. If you're someone who's struggling with supply, 
I haven't had a, re um, a struggle really with supply, thankfully, um, but I have religiously been drinking a cup of this every morning. And that is the Pink Stork um, Lactation Smooth Vanilla Tea. This is really, really good. I mean, if you're a tea drinker, you like tea anyway, but um, I like this one because you don't have to add any like sweetener to it. It's already pretty sweet on its own. But I just make a cup of this every morning and I, like I said, I haven't had an issue, so I don't know if it's helping, but if you're struggling, highly recommend looking into something like this. The next essential, and this is one that I literally use on the daily, is a Boppy or the Breast Friend. I don't have the Breast Friend in here, but that I literally use every time I feed because it is hands-free. Um, you basically, it has a clip. I can insert a picture of it right here for you guys, but it has like a buckle and it buckles around you and you can tighten it so that it like lifts baby up and then basically he can lie or he or she can lie on it. And then I use one hand to like hold my breast in his mouth because he's lazy. But then I have my other hand to play on my phone or do whatever. It also has a nice little snack pocket. I haven't really used it for that, but <laughs> it's got a nice snack pocket or a pocket for whatever you want. But highly, highly recommend investing in that. It is kind of pricey. It's like $100, but put it on your registry. That's um, how I got it. The only thing that I will say about the breast friend is for how expensive it is, it should be like water milk proof. It is not. I definitely kind of ruined my pillow because of this. So it is, it's basically like a foam block with a cover over it. And I didn't realize this. I don't know if the My Breast Friend brand sells it, but Amazon sells like a waterproof, wet proof cover that you can put on it underneath the actual cover. If you're gonna use My Breast Friend, order one of those. I will try to find what I'm talking about. Any of the products that I talk about today, I will list in the down bar. So look there, but order the, the cover because you can see my son is someone, he spits up like no other, like this child, every day I'm covered in spit up, but that pillow has been spit up so many times, on so many times, and it's starting almost to warp, like the foam, you can feel like a bump in the foam where like milk has soaked into it or wetness, so it, I mean, really gross to save, I'm sorry, but so order the waterproof cover, but highly, highly recommend it. I just wish for the price that it would have came waterproof or wet proof. But the other one I do have in here is a boppy. A boppy looks just like this. Now this one I used a lot in the hospital. I took this one to the hospital with me. If you're gonna have to choose between the two because obviously they're both pricey, I recommend the other one. I use the other one way more. We use this one a lot more for tummy time, but this is another one that you can use for breastfeeding, and I do use it sometimes, but it just goes like around your waist, and then you can prop baby up on it, put a pillow underneath it, however you want, but this is really good for breastfeeding as well. It's like the original breastfeeding pillow. And they have a lot of really cute patterns. This one, his room is woodland theme. So this is the pattern that we went through. And these are nice too, because you can just unzip, wash it, all that good stuff. But lots of cute patterns you could order for it. The next thing on my list is a haka. So a haka, hopefully I'm saying that right, looks like this. So this can help you to collect breast milk while you're feeding on the other side. So all of the stuff that you would have lost or would have just soaked into like your breast pad, um, this will collect. And um, I don't use it as very as much as I should, very often as much as I should, um, but you can collect a lot of um, breast milk in it while you're uh, feeding on the other side. I know a lot of people use this exclusively, like if they don't want to pump, um, they'll just put this right on and um, feed on the other side and they are able to collect a good amount of milk to save for their collection. Um, to use it, you just, it looks like this, you just bend it down like that and then you pop it over your wrist. But highly recommend investing in one of these, they're pretty cheap. Um, and you can hand express with this too. 
the next thing is, and it's Hoffa, is a electric breast pump. So I went with the Spectra, um, I can't remember what, Spectra S1, I believe. They have two different ones. Um, I have the rechargeable one, which is fantastic because you don't have to be plugged into the wall. If you lose power, anything like that, you're not at the hands of electricity. Um, so you can also travel with it if you like, you know, you're going to be out all day. Obviously it's kind of bulky, but it's rechargeable. You don't have to be plugged in. So if you are going to be out all day, you could bring it and um, pump on the go, which for me is going to be really handy while going back to work. The other thing that's really cool about the Spectra is that um, supposedly, I don't know how true it is, but supposedly it's supposed to be the closest pump to actual breastfeeding. Um, you can change like the different cycles, like you can change how it's pumping, not just like the speed, but you can also change like the tempo, I guess, I don't know like how to explain it, but like the tempo so that it feels the most natural or like your child breastfeeding. So that is a cool feature. I also really like that it has a light. So like at night, I obviously, you don't wanna turn on your bright light. Um, I not only use this when I'm pumping, but like if baby wakes up next to me, I'll just like turn on the light and it's low enough that I can see what I'm doing, but I'm also not turning on the big lamp and waking him up. So if you're looking for a breast pump, that's a good one. In addition to the breast pump, you are also going to need, oh, the reason why the breast pump is sometimes you might be engorged or things like that and you might need to express you can hand express, but a pump is typically easier. Um, if you are gonna be pumping to um, express um, for um, engorgement or anything like that, you are also going to need um, breast milk storage bags or just collecting milk in general. And um, if you're a military spouse, fun fact, you actually get a free breast pump every new child. So whether it's your first, your second, or your third, every, every child you get a new breast pump because um, you're supposed to replace them so often they only last so long so keep that in mind and take full advantage of that you also get in addition to your breast pump you get uh you get stored milk storage bags every month you also get um your tubes replaced and your breast shields and all of that replaced every every so often so look into the calendar of how often you get those and make sure that you are getting your free subscription per se every month. But um, some of the breast, breast milk storage bags that we have been using are the um, Kindy Twist. These ones we do get free. These ones are nice because obviously they have the little twist, um, but there is a piece that they give with you with this that hooks right into your uh, Sorry, your breast pump so that you don't have to um, express into the bottle and then pour it into a storage bag you can pump specifically straight into the bag itself i don't know if you can see on the back you can see how there's an attachment that clips right into the bag so that's a nice feature of these bags they also have these ones that i had gotten off of my my registry and then I also have the ones that came with my Spectra. These ones are pretty nice as well. So these ones have a nice, um, you peel it to pour milk into, which is nice because it makes sure that like it's sanitary inside the bag. And these ones are nice if you're bottle feeding because when you're warming up your milk, like we have a bottle warmer, they have a nice little temp thing here. So basically, um, it'll change colors when it's the correct temperature. So that is really cool when it comes to these so that you know you're giving your child the proper temperature and it's not just like an average guess. But those are some different options for breast milk storage bags. The next thing on my list is nursing pads. Um, if you're anything like me or any breastfeeding mom, you are going to leak. Um, when it comes to your milk coming in. They have a ton of reusable nursing pads. I found that those, I could probably use them more now, but in the earlier days, they stuck to like any sore spots and it was like peeling off a scab and that 
I haven't used them. Um, I've been sticking with these. I ordered this case off of Amazon. They're just these straight, stay dry nursing pads. They come individually wrapped like this. I'll open one for you. And then they have a sticky tape on both sides that you just peel off and stick to the inside of your bra. And then they look like this. I've really been liking this brand. I haven't tried any other brands, so I can't speak to them, but I really like these. I'm going to be ordering a, another box on Amazon before I run out. But whether you're going to be reuse, using reusable ones or the one-time use, um, those, those are your options, and I highly recommend this brand. The next thing is a nursing cover. I'm all for free the breast, but I am not someone who just wants to whip out my boob in the middle of public, so a nursing cover has been a win for me. They have a couple different styles. Uh, my mom sent me this one specifically, and I really enjoyed it. This one is a nursing cover, but it also doubles as a car seat cover. So like when you're in public and you want to put a cover over your baby so that no one can like see or touch your baby, this doubles as it. It looks like this. It's nice because it can be used, like I said, as the, um, the car seat cover, nursing cover, but you can also wear it as a scarf. So it doesn't look like super weird, um, but it's also really, really soft. And it basically, you just put it over the top of you and then it covers baby. So recommend one of these. They have a couple different kinds. They also have like the one that buckles around you, but this one's been the most convenient for me. It's small and I can throw it right in the diaper bag. The next thing I don't have to show you is going to be breastfeeding clothes or PJs. Um, I am not someone who invested a lot of money into breastfeeding tops, but they would be convenient. One thing that I wish that I would have invested in is like some tank tops, especially if you have um, other kids at home where you're gonna be having people over, you can't really go topless around your house. And so the tank tops would have been nicer than just like the bra because they have like the built-in bra that you can wear when you're nursing. Um, I find that I didn't really need nursing tops. I just wear a normal top and just pull up. Um, but the convenience of a nursing top being able to just move it to the side and feed would be handy. I did order some PJs when I was in the hospital and stuff for breastfeeding. So highly recommend any PJs that have like the button up tops. Uh, Target always has some really cute ones. I, I bought some here at the next, but recommend um, investing in some of those. The 10th item on my list is not a physical item, but a person. This is a lacta uh, lactation specialist. So, so important. Take full advantage of them if you can. If you are a military spouse, typically they offer them in the hospital. I had a couple that reached out to me in the hospital. Now, I wanna preface this with, so in the hospital, it was so overwhelming from the lactation specialist and I had so many people telling me the right way, the wrong way, how to feed. So, with that being said, don't, don't let that deter you from going back and following up with a lactation specialist because, like I said, in the hospital I got so much information that I was overwhelmed and there are good lactation specialists and there are some not so great. So the first one that I ever spoke to um, was right after baby was born, obviously so much happening and she kind of just handed me a ton of papers and was like, hey, here's my number. The next one was a girl who was going to school to be a lactation specialist, so she had a lot of good knowledge, but she kept telling me like, hey, if it's painful, you need to unlatch and relatch. And it's not always the case. Sometimes it can be painful when your milk is letting down, or if you already have a sore, like it's gonna be painful until that heals. And she kept unlatching and relatching baby like over and over again. And I was just like done with her. And then I finally had a third lactation specialist before I left the hospital who was like, it's gonna be painful until that heals. Like, you're gonna, you're doing everything right. Like, his latch looks good. Keep, you know, keep it up. So just know that there's a wide range of specialists and don't let like the hospital deter you. So after I went home and we were still struggling with our breastfeeding journey, I, reached out to a lactation specialist again and she gave me great information, way more in depth information of like how to heal everything, what I should be doing. Um, if you're in Guam, she, there, her name is Rebecca and that's the one that I ended up reaching out to, but she is actually the traveling nurse. So if you're living on Guam, I don't know 
I assume if you live off base, you can reach out to her too, but specifically if you live on base, she will actually come to your house. She'll do like weight, uh, baby's weight. She'll help you with um, breastfeeding. So highly recommend reaching out to her if you need help. If you DM me, I can totally give you her information or leave me a comment down below. But like I said, don't let like one bad experience with a lactation consultant deter you from reaching out again because there are good ones and there are bad ones, but they are just a wealth of knowledge and when you feel like giving up, like they can help you to get to a point where you're not feeling like giving up. So highly, highly recommend. The next item is for those of you who are struggling in those first couple weeks with like sores is the um, hydro gel pads. Um, I have the Medela brand. This is what the hospital gave me when I asked. But there are obviously other brands, I believe. Um, I don't know how you say this brand. I'd butcher it, but they have their own. Um, and I know a bunch of different ones. You can find them on Amazon if you look up hydrogel pads for breastfeeding. So basically, these are like a clear square pad that acts as like... It's like a soothing gel pad, it's like cold. So basically you put it on and it is like a cooling effect. It feels really good on like sore nipples. And they, like I said, they're lifesavers in those first couple weeks. The only downfall of using these pads is that you have to cleanse the area before you breastfeed because um, they can be toxic, so. That's the only downfall and only thing that kind of deterred me from using them consistently was that they felt good, but I'd have to like get up and wash it. So like I put it on, but it was a pain if I like say I wanted to leave it on overnight, but then I had to feed in the middle of the night. I'd have to get up, take it off, wash, wash it off with like a warm compress before I could actually feed. So kind of a hassle, but if you're really struggling, check these out. The last thing i guess actually two more things um the next thing is nipple shields now um i ordered these ones off of amazon i'll link the brand down below because i think it's that land the one brand that i can't pronounce um brand but i'm not positive there's tons of brands out there but if you just look up nipple shields um they basically look like this sorry i might have like water spots from washing them um but they look like this they go over your nipple obviously and these in those early days saved my breastfeeding journey and in the hospital they like very deter you from using nipple shields they're like no don't use a nipple shield unless you have like your baby has like a serious issue like like you have inverted nipples or like a bad like tongue tie or things like that but these helped when i was trying to heal um so just remember that no matter what people say to you always make the decision that's best for you like take their knowledge with a grain of salt and you do you because everyone told me not to use these but they are basically what saved my breastfeeding training so you basically put it on and it helps act as like a protective shield over your nipple and when i had a really bad crack i used these for about a, a week and it helped to help to heal so highly recommend investing in a set of these if you can, um, like I said, saved my breastfeeding journey. Highly, highly recommend it out of anything after, after the nipple bombs. All right, sorry, I guess I talked too long and I got cut off, so we're back to finish this video. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is um, these Videla soft shells that I ordered on Amazon. So when I was at my wit's end with breastfeeding and I was like on the verge of giving up, I was seeking out everything that I could order to help save my breastfeeding journey. And I stumbled upon, upon these. I was on the fence about the Silverettes and these, they have a ton of different brands of um, the nipple shells. The reason I went with these over the other ones is the Silverettes are like $40 and these are like 20, so they're like half the cost. And when I was looking, like they're basically the same thing. So um, the soft shell basically it is a shell that goes over your breast. It has a little hole and it leaves air so that your nipple can heal. And obviously if any milk 
<clears throat> leaks out, it would collect the milk, but it has the hole so that like air is getting it into it and you're supposed to be able to heal your crack nipples. Now, I want to say avoid these at all costs. Now, when I was reading the reviews, it had decent reviews on Amazon, but I really should have like paid more attention to the bad reviews. I guess more so if you have a bigger breasts is what I was getting from the reviews, but the problem with these is it almost acted like a suction cup. So it added, first off, more pain. It would leave like a ring on my breast from where this was sitting, and then it would suction TMI, if, but if you're breastfeeding, like you've made it this far into the video, but it would act like a suction and my nipple would be touching the other side and almost like I had been on a suction cup for so long. It also, because it was collecting milk, instead of the air getting to it, it was acting like a warm, moist environment, which if you don't know, like that is just like a breeding ground for a thrush, which you obviously don't want you or your baby to get. So these just didn't work for me, but based on the reviews, if you have like bigger breasts that a lot of people had issues with that. So I can't speak to everyone, but these did not work for me. They were painful. They were uncomfortable. I literally used them for like a day and then waste of my $20. So avoid these at all costs. Um, I have heard really, really good things about the silverettes. I obviously didn't try them. Um, by the time I got these, I ended up just sucking it up. I pumped to heal the spot and then we were moving on and we've had a successful breastfeeding journey since. But like I said, I've heard really good thing about the silverettes, so they might be worth spending more money on. Don't go with the cheaper option, just spend the money on the more expensive ones. So don't buy these. They are awful, awful, awful. awful. Yeah, you guys, that wraps up my breastfeeding essentials. If you guys want me to do a separate video on how I've had a successful breastfeeding journey or how I've overcome my struggles from the beginning, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, let me know if also in the comments down below if I've missed any items that were essential for you and that way other new moms can look down below. But yeah, um, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, if you're a new mama. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video and comment down below. But yeah, I will see you guys next Friday for another video. Bye guys!